What's going on y'all? Juan here and today I'm with Dom and Tom and we're here to conduct wind tests with a variety of products. So stay tuned. This is a wind test with the 416 with nothing on. Now I'll go up a little bit. This is a wind test with the 416 with nothing on. This is a wind test with the stock windscreen on. Alright, I'm pulling it up. This is a wind test with the stock windscreen on. Cool. This is a wind test with the Rye Coat Softy. I'd hand that to a client. Oh yeah. You know, like that, yeah. That, yeah. It's so minimal. All right, let's do it. This is a wind test with the Ride Coat Softy. This is a wind test with the Ride Coat Softy. This is a wind test with the K-Tech Arrow. This is a wind test with the K-Tech Arrow. We can bump this one up, right? Yeah, say next is 18. This is a wind test with the K-Tech Arrow. This is a wind test with the Bubble Bee Spacer. This is a wind test with the Bubble Bee Spacer. Okay, we're That's good. the weird part. It's like, I feel like this is failing sooner, but it handled the seven miles an hour. Yeah. It's it's pretty much failed at this point. Yeah. But we should we should keep going just because of the um, the issues we were having before, like what we were saying before. So let's just yeah. keep let's just keep breaking it. Yeah. This is a wind test with the Bubble Bee Spacer. This is a sound test with the Bubble Bee Spacer with the long fur. This is a wind test with the Bubble Bee Spacer with the long fur.
This is a wind test with the Bubble Bee Spacer with the long fur. This is a wind test with the Bubble Bee Spacer with the long fur. This is a wind test with the radius Nimbus. This is a wind test with the radius Nimbus. This is a wind test with the radius Nimbus. This is a wind test with the radius Nimbus. This is a wind test with the road blimp. This is a wind test with the road blimp. It's doing pretty well. This is a wind test with the road blimp. It did something similar, but I don't know how much more accurate we're going to get it, you know? This is a wind test with the road blimp. This is a wind test for the road blimp with the dead cat. This is a wind test with the road blimp with the dead cat. This is a wind test with the road blimp with the dead cat. This is a wind test with the road blimp with the dead cat. This is a wind test with the Sonella Piano Windshield. This is a wind test with the Sonella Piano windshield. This is a wind test with the Sonella Piano windshield. Um, I think it's still savable. I mean, there's definitely rumble there, but no, I think of course, with but post, it's and that's but like impressive. this plateaued similarly to the fur on the bubble bee, right? Or, no, radius. it was the, the radius. Was the, yeah. radius. Yeah. the radius, the radius yeah. plateaued. Where, this one kind of plateaued too. Yeah, where that's it didn't get cool. like a lot worse. Yeah, 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 that's pretty cool too. Yeah. Because like what's interesting to me is, Do you want to I know, up? I wish we had more of a variety of blimps. Yeah. But like with the road, the way it's built with the cage, like I feel like there's more protection. Like as you can see with the Sonella, it's just this cloth. I think the road with the and fur is still the best, skeleton. though. So, yeah. I mean, until we put the fur on yeah. this bad boy. Oh, <laughs> sure, let's see. Yeah. 
This is a wind test with the Sanella Piano windshield with the low pile fur. This is a wind test with the Sanella Piano windshield with the low pile fur. This is a wind test with the Sanella Piano windshield with the low pile fur. So this was my first time collaborating with different sound mixers or just sound mixers in general with doing these type of tests. So I look forward to doing more. This was very fun. I think this is a really great way. It was for me to get my hands on different products and see how they perform without, you know, wasting time and spending money and then not being happy with the product. So I think for other sound mixers, this is a really cool thing to collaborate, try products that everyone owns and then make judgment of what you feel is best. So, Tom, how did you feel about this test? Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was great. Um, you know, I also think there are some things, if we could go back, I would change uh, some of the ways that we handled uh, the, the tests that we were taking. Um, uh, I think we got a really good read on what the different wind protection um, tools sort of sound like um, when no dialogue is happening, when no, like, sort of uh, spoken word is being captured. but. Um, you know, as, as we were raising the wind levels, I had to come down on the gain quite a bit in order for it to not clip. And, uh, you know, the thing that kept sort of sticking out to me was, oh, if I was booming this, I'd be, you know, talking to the director to make sure that we can get the boom as close as possible so that the audio that was spoken could be, uh, you know, heard uh, over the just volume of the wind. Um, but that said, you know, getting to hear what the wind sounds like through these uh, wind protections, it, it's, um, we learned a lot about, you know, what these products do at higher wind temperatures and how, you know, the sort of stock basic interior things that we had just really didn't hold up once you got, you know, to like 12 miles an hour. Uh, but then these great ones, you know, sort of really shined in those moments where the wind was pretty high. Absolutely. And yeah, for the price that we pay for some of these, you really yeah, they hope better, that they, you know? yeah, they better yeah. perform. So. And then, but also the, to me, the versatility of the, the Bubblebee system that we found, Dom's Bubblebee system, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, we were talking about having the sort of, uh, What's the first one called? The like the spacer? Yeah. The spacer. You know, having the spacer and then having the fur that you can put over it, like that's, you know, both of them were very good. It's also really versatile and that's, um, mm -hmm. you know, on the fly for the run and gun stuff that we're doing. Sometimes that's, you know, really important. No, I agree. I definitely agree. And with the spacer, lastly, um, it's cool how the spacer by itself, great for interiors. <laughs> I mean, I would recommend it for the interiors, but we always get caught by surprise. Yeah. And if we have to just go outside all of a sudden to put the fur right over the spacer, you have some more protection on the fly if you get caught, you know, and then you could just fold it, put it right in your pocket. It's very convenient. Instead of running back to your Pelican and having to do a full switch. Yeah, sometimes you don't have that time, you know? So Dom, like, how did you feel about the test? Uh, I feel pretty good. Um, for my part of it, because I was kind of controlling a little bit more fan speed and like monitoring that and plugging it in. So a couple of the things that I would probably change are just like, um, that meter was hard to like really get fine-tuned into a specific um, a specific speed so like trying to find a meter that might be a little bit more accurate in that speed the fan also was more of like a, a model type of like for models and stuff like that like it's not necessarily designed for this specifically mm -hmm. so finding the right space to put the microphone and 
the meter kind of affects a little bit how um, how it was done. But um, at the end of the day, we we're blowing wind into these yeah. devices and seeing how it sounded. And I think we accomplished that to some degree. And I think that um, we got a lot of really useful information. Um, I am a little bit biased because I own the Bubble Bee, but I think that as far as like the softy kind of realm goes, like once under the, the cages and the Zeppelins and stuff like that, I think the Bubble Bee really outperformed in my opinion. And on top of the versatility of it, um, I think that um, it's a really good product. But um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very excited um, with what we got today. Absolutely. And I will say about the spacer, <clears throat> pardon me, it's smart, the design, and you can't fault that. You, it's smart, you know, you have the ability to put a fur over it. Um, something like the Radius Nimbus is you get, you know, what you what you have is what you get with that form factor along with the, um, the softy from Rycoat. So, you know, th those are other things that these manufacturers can think about in the future is how to make the product a little more, you know, uh, uh, all, I don't want to say an all-in-one, but just something like the Spacer, like the Bubble Bee, where if you want to just, you know, use it interior with no fur and not really affect the audio quality, you have that. And then if you got to go outside. So that was really cool because um, I was on the fence with the Spacer and um, I'm sold with that. And then I was actually very impressed with the Radius as well, the Nimbus. Like, I felt like with some of the tests, as you guys seen, um, some just got progressively worse once we increased the wind output. And then there were products like the Radius that it kind of plateaued. Yeah. Where, like things were forgivable and um if you have a really good post person you know some of this stuff can get recovered i know yeah. i'm a stickler for audio i'm going to try to get the best sound out of the mixer but if you get caught in these scenarios where you have no control and that's the biggest most important thing is control then you got to trust on these products that can make this auto audio usable for sure and that was one other part of to consider and i'm um, We'll probably go into it more later, but this was at, without any post-processing at all. This is raw, straight out of camera. Mm -hmm. So this is like the, like, um, it, it would only get better from here. Yeah, absolutely. So we appreciate y'all watching this. And if there's any questions, make sure you hit the comment box and also make sure to like and subscribe to this video. Peace.